Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome back, guys. Today, we are going to have an overview of verb conjugations in Turkish. In Turkish, we have two types of tenses, indicative and optative. Indicative ones is about the time of the action, while optative ones is about how the action is performed. In this video, we are going to see an overview of indicative tenses, but those specifically which have only one tense suffix in the conjugation. These are definite past tense, which is also known as known or seen past tense, indefinite past tense, which is also known as learned or heard past tense, simple present tense, present continuous tense, and future tense. So, this is a general overview video. Most of these tenses are also used to mean different actions or feelings depending on the context. We're going to cover those when we talk about these tenses one by one in detail in the future. So now, let's remember once again how we conjugate the verbs in Turkish. In Turkish, all infinitive verbs end either with mek or mak. To obtain the verb stem, we drop mek or mak depending on the verb, and then we add the tense suffix, then we add the person suffix. If you want to negate the verb, we add the negation suffix after the verb stem, and then tense suffix, then person suffix. And the negation suffix is either me or ma, depending on the vowel harmony. So now, let's begin. The first one is definite past tense which is also known as seen or known past tense. We use this tense when the speaker has witnessed the action. So, the action happened before the eyes of the speaker. And the tense suffixes are de, di, du, du, t, ti, tu, and tu, depending on the vowel harmony or consonant mutation. The verb we're going to use for conjugation is gitmek, gitmek, which means to go. Ben gittim, ben gittim, sen gittin, sen gittin, o gitti, o gitti, biz gittik, biz gittik. Siz gittiniz, siz gittiniz, onlar gittiler, or onlar gitti. Here is an example sentence. Gökçen markete gitti. Gökçen markete gitti. So now, let's do the negation. Ben gitmedim. Sen gitmedin. O gitmedi. Biz gitmedik. Siz gitmediniz. Onlar gitmediler. Or onlar gitmedi. Here's an example sentence. O bugün işe gitmedi. O bugün işe gitmedi. Now, let's talk about indefinite past tense, which is also known as heard or learned past tense. So, we use this tense when a speaker has not witnessed the action. He or she learned about it from someone else or he or she has realized after the action happened. That is why the translation of this tense into English can begin with I heard that or it is said that or it seems that type of beginnings. The tense suffixes are mush, mish, mush, and mush, depending on the vowel harmony. So, for this tense, let's conjugate this verb. Yemek, yemek, which means to eat. Ben yemişim, ben yemişim, sen yemişsin, sen yemişsin. O yemiş. 
o yemiş biz yemişiz biz yemişiz siz yemişsiniz siz yemişsiniz onlar yemişler or onlar yemiş now let's see an example ahmet o restoranda akşam yemeği yemiş ahmet o restoranda akşam yemeği yemiş now let's take a look at the negation ben yememişim sen yememişsin o yememiş biz yememişiz siz yememişsiniz onlar yememişler or onlar yememiş now let's see an example keki yememişsin keki yememişsin now we're going to talk about simple present tense the simple present tense shows an habitual action that someone has done in the past still does now and will do in the future as well the tense suffixes are re er ar in addition to those ır ir ur and ür depending on the vowel harmony so the verb we are going to conjugate for this one is okumak okumak which means to read ben okurum ben okurum sen okursun sen okursun o okur o okur biz okuruz biz okuruz siz okursunuz siz okursunuz onlar okurlar or onlar okur now let's see an example ben kitap okurum ben kitap okurum and the negation goes like this ben okumam sen okumazsın o okumaz biz okumayız siz okumazsınız onlar okumazlar or onlar okumaz here is an example ben kullanım kılavuzu okumam ben kullanım kılavuzu okumam so negation of the simple present tense is not like the other ones there is no tense suffix in the negation of simple present tense we're going to talk about this in another video by the way i just said that i don't read user manuals that's not true i always read user manuals and i recommend you to read user manuals as well now let's continue with the present continuous tense the present continuous tense is used to show what's happening right now at this moment and in turkish it's also used to express something that will happen in the near future the tense suffixes are iyor iyor uyor or uyor depending on the vowel harmony so the verb we're going to use for conjugation for this tense is yürümek yürümek which means to walk ben yürüyorum ben yürüyorum sen yürüyorsun sen yürüyorsun o yürüyor o yürüyor biz yürüyoruz biz yürüyoruz siz yürüyorsunuz siz yürüyorsunuz onlar yürüyorlar or onlar yürüyor so we're going to talk about this later in detail but for now i would like to mention once again that for the second singular and second plural and third singular and third plural we do not pronounce the re sound at the end of the tense suffix it is silenced so we don't say yürüyorsun or yürüyor or yürüyorsunuz or yürüyorlar instead we silence the re sound at the end of the tense suffix for those persons and say 
yürüyorsun, yürüyor, yürüyorsunuz, yürüyorlar. So now let's see an example. Biz otobüse doğru yürüyoruz. Biz otobüse doğru yürüyoruz. Now let's negate the verb. Ben yürümüyorum. Sen yürümüyorsun. O yürümüyor. Biz yürümüyoruz. Siz yürümüyorsunuz. Onlar yürümüyorlar. Or onlar yürümüyor. Now you might be asking the negation suffix is not me or ma. What happened? Well, actually the negation suffix is ma. But there is another grammar rule that takes place in this, which we will cover in detail when we talk specifically about this tense in the future. And now it's time for future tense. The future tense shows what will happen in the future. And the tense suffixes are ecek and acak. Depending on which word these suffixes are attached to, there could be a buffer letter in between and this buffer letter is ye. The verb we're going to use for the conjugation is yazmak, yazmak, which means to write. Ben yazacağım. Sen yazacaksın. O yazacak. Biz yazacağız. Siz yazacaksınız. Onlar yazacaklar. Or onlar yazacak. Well guys, I have pronounced these conjugations this way so that you know how to read these properly. But in normally in daily conversations, you will never hear future tense conjugations like this. Instead, what you're going to hear, what you're going to use, and what you're going to say is this. Ben gideceğim. Ben gideceğim. Sen gideceksin. Sen gideceksin. O gidecek. O gidecek. Biz gideceğiz. Biz gideceğiz. Siz gideceksiniz. Siz gideceksiniz. Onlar gidecekler. Or onlar gidecek. Well guys, like I said before, we're going to talk about these details later in much more detail. But for now, I can say that this way the pronunciations are easier. Now, let's see an example. Ona mektup yazacağım. Ona mektup yazacağım. And here is a time for the negation. Ben yazmayacağım. Sen yazmayacaksın. O yazmayacak. Biz yazmayacağız. Siz yazmayacaksınız. Onlar yazmayacaklar. Or onlar yazmayacak. All right, guys. This is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please let me know. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.